according to Katigana protocol, it yielded provisions for halting the use of GMOs across the world. But according to reliable sources, Uganda scientists in government have already embraced the use of GMOs, which can affect the future of Uganda, as Dr. Nsabatulo explains. Because of the view that uh, Africans are too many, and we must find a way of reducing them, they have invented a GMO seed, which corn, corn maize, corn, which, which is now capable of making sterile men, is intended to ensure that men don't produce, which is now on the market, and the intention of that is to make men, African men, sterile, and they stop producing, they stop multiplying. Dr. Nsabutulu and Dr. Otala have advised Ugandan scientists to withdraw the intention of okaying the use of GMOs in this country. Eminent scientists, 300 of them in Europe, have said no to GMOs. Most of Europe does not accept GMOs. 50 nations in Africa don't accept GMOs. We shouldn't be embracing everything that are presented to us. GMO should not be encouraged in this country. Dr. Nsababutulu has highlighted their next move to end GMOs. So we want to come out very strongly. My colleague has suggested to you we have a bill. We will certainly be introducing in Parliament that seeks to prohibit, to prohibit uh, GMOs in our land. There is an argument that says already the GMOs are here anyway. So what are you going to do? Our answer will be to phase them out. Joseph Selwaza at Parliament.